Hi. We'd like to do uh, an idea for you that was related to the H2O GATE Water Game Blue. See how fly like a catapult to penguin. Incredible a spectacle, a short time to get it. And I saw with grace and ease and luck. The ladies all love how I'm rocking the touch. Not giving a fly what the haters wanna be me. I'm flying right above them, but they can't even see me. Could have been that they didn't expect it. Caught them off guard. Didn't think I'd go in so hard. We could ask Judge Watner to preside on the verdict. He brings down the gavel and he shares what the word is. He said my style's invincible, your style's inadmissible. He stood up, pointed at me, said, Come oh, fuck with him. See, I'm terribly ill. No, 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 not even a little bit. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> as they're passing by. Welcome to <laughs> the next installment. Grizz's birthday installment of uh, Grizzly Beer Stories. Um, you know, it's me, you boy, Grizz. Here with a new beer and another story. This week, this time, this round, is... Voodoo Ranger. Let me see, he's a very much a Voodoo Ranger. Juicy Haze IPA. This is an India Pale Ale brewed with spice. 7.5. An ABV alcohol, that's alcohol by volume, of 7.5. So, you know, it's it's pretty it's a pretty good one. This week we'll be talking about I think I had addressed it in some other time or something like that. Harry Carey. If you don't know who Harry Carey is, you'll have a, a, a bit of an idea after this. But first, you heard the pop of power. Now, we check the pour. In this haze of love, haze of... I oh man, I don't really normally care for that much foam. But with only 12 ounces, I guess it does make the glass look a little bit more full. And it really just helps appreciate the color even more. That is a beautiful, beautiful color, huh? So let's see, Voodoo Ranger Juicy Haze IPA, whatever. Oh, that smells so marvelous. That smells so marvelous. And see, I'm taking multiple sips just so that I can properly examine and experience the body and the flavor of this beer, of this Boudou Ranger Juicy Haze IPA. And it is quite marvelous, okay? Maravilleuse. I don't even remember if that's actually how you say it or not, but... That is, that's pretty drinkable. That's pretty nice. That's pretty tasty. That's pretty smooth. Um, zero aftertaste. Like, hold on. Let me make sure. Yeah, no, that's zero aftertaste. I mean, I can't believe, like, are these 12 ounce cans? Like, it says 12 ounces, but I mean, the, pff, pff, talk about feeling robbed. Anyways, so growing up, I may or may not have watched uh, a good amount of television. Um, and in my tiny town, we had 30? 30-ish 30 channels, okay? 
Um, we didn't get one or two, and we didn't get channel five. I don't remember. I see. I used to, man. I've, you know, I used to be the TV guide. I, I'm trying to remember all the different channels or whatever, and I, I can't quite recall them all off the top of my head. I do remember that 17 was TBS and 18 was WGN. For those of you that don't know, TBS is the Turner Broadcasting System, and that was out of Atlanta or something like that, you know? And WGN is out of Chicago. And early on, you know, I learned these things. And and I knew, I learned that if a program said it was gonna come on at a certain time, that meant it was gonna come on, you know, one, two or three hours earlier here in California. And for the sake of television, you know, I learned these things. Um, so if I wanted to watch, you know, Bozo's The Clown's Show, I had to get up hecka early in order to try to watch the grand prize game, you know? And every time I watch it, oh man, I could have sworn. Like those kids that couldn't make it into all the buckets or whatever, I was like, just give me one shot, Bozo. You know, one shot. Come on. Anyways, I never, you know, I never got to go on the Bozo Clown Show. Surprise. But... Out of all the channels and all the things, man, those wind chimes are clanging. Um, so the, the different channels on the, you know, uh, uh, in our small selection in my hometown, um, baseball and whatnot showed up on on various channels. So I, I got to, I got a good ex, a good exposure to baseball growing up. And one of the things I remember most about WGN is their, you know, their obvious love for the Cubbies, the Cubs. Um, and I remember, oh man, like it, it's ingrained in my memory, Harry Carey. Harry Carey, oh, the voice of the Cubs, you know, like anybody out there that knows, if, I hate that, I hate that it's a saying, you know, uh, right now, if you know, you know, but really, if you know, you know, Harry Carey is, like his voice, his his just his demeanor, his, his everything about him. If you if you know, if you grew up with it at all, if you love baseball, you've been exposed to it. You know whether it be posthumously or or you grew up with him. You know you you saw him, and I didn't I didn't know who he was. I didn't know what was going on. I just knew that he was the dude on WGN whenever the Cubs were on playing, and I remember watching him and. Then I saw somebody on the television do, you know, do their Harry Carey. And I said, you know what? I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I could do that. I like having fun. I like doing voices. My, the voices in my head like doing voices. Yeah, we do. Um, so one day I was like, let's see where this will go. And I said, hey, everybody. Welcome to After Hours Sparts with Harry Carey. I'm your host, Harry Carey. Hey, oh my. And I would, I'd occasionally talk about <clears throat> the San Francisco Gigantes. Oh my. What about that guy, Baumgartner? He's phenomenal. And, and on the mound now is El Matone. You know? Um, it was great. It was just great to, to be exposed to that, to grow up with Harry Carey. Even, even though in the moment I didn't, I didn't know who he was. I didn't know who he was about. I was still appreciated, you know, as much as I could, um, him, you know, and, and to, to look back on it and know, know now, you know, what, what he meant, what he really meant to all of the Cubs fan base, um, and to see him immortalized, you know, is it's just it's great. I I love baseball. If you, if you couldn't tell, I love baseball. Um, even though I'm not a Cubs fan, <laughs> oh, I'm not a Cubs fan. Um, Harry Carey is definitely uh, like like Ben Scully and all of the you know all of the great voices of baseball. Crook and Kipe. 
or yeah, whatever. You know, the different great voices of baseball throughout my lifetime, much less before. Um, what's his name? Ed Buck? Ed, right? Ed was a, a commentator before. And then I'm not going to name his son. Mm. Mm. His son. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know who I'm talking about. But yeah. That's basically it. That was the that was the, the long and short of it was Harry Carey. Harry Carey, great, great commentator. Uh, you know, just awesome. And I was blessed to have seen him as much as I did growing up and to hear his voice, his unique voice, and to be able to channel just a little bit of it, you know? Uh, even if it's not always the best. It's better than a lot of people's. Um, yeah. So, Blue Ranger, Juicy Haze. Super smooth, super drinkable, super hazy. Go get you some. This should be available just about everywhere. And you know, if you see Voodoo Ranger, I'm telling you right now, because I'm pretty sure, I hopefully it'll be coming out this summer. Voodoo Ranger 1985. It looks like Marty McFly, but with a skeleton, okay? 1985. Um, yeah. Have leave any comments about Harry Carey or Voodoo Ranger or the Juicy Haze IPA or whatever you want down in the comments. See you next time. This is a, a short celebration for me. You know, a better celebration out in the real world. Hit me up. Grizzat.